Dear Dr. Jordan Peterson, I write letters to specific people of influence, knowing full well that they'll never see or respond to them. I do this to give my audience a chance to vent their frustrations and to have a little chuckle. I guess that's the closest I'll ever get to being a psychologist. But this time around, knowing the living hell our Canadian institutions have been putting you and your family through, I decided to, this time, go to my audience and ask, if they had one moment of your attention, what would they say to you? And this is just a few of their replies. Thank you. Thank you, and do you find that given your career choice and education, it's challenging to not analyze everyone around you? How do you separate your everyday life from your work life in normal daily situations? Thank you for standing up for free speech and critical thinking. Mr. Peterson, you're worth it. Always remember that. God loves you and blessed you even though at times it may not seem like it. Stay true to you and stay free. Much love and strength sent to you and yours. It takes a courageous person to stand up for the truth, so I thank you from my heart. I know a lot of people have put weight on your shoulders, expecting you to be their hero. But if you have taught us anything, it's that we must be strong for ourselves and each other and we will help lift you up just as you have for so many of us. Your enemies are my enemies. Thank you. You'll never know the extent to which the breadth and reach of your labors have helped people. You're placing a mark in the history books. I love you, man. Thank you for speaking out for Canadians. Your words are inspirational. Keep fighting the good fight. As someone who walked away from my lifelong calling to be a psychotherapist for fear of going through exactly what he is, I would thank him for his bravery. I still help individuals where and how I can, but at this stage, to receive license to practice, I would have to lie, and I won't do that. I so admire his strength and the impact he has had on countless people he will likely never meet. I hope one day soon people can see the enormative importance for you standing up, that one day mental health and effective supports will be rooted in truth, hard as it may be to hear, but have the ultimate effect of healing, grace, and growth for all. Thank you for speaking up for us Canadians. As an overweight lady who you would probably find gross, I still support your right to say what you want. Free speech is a universal right that should always be protected. I don't find your comment on overweight people necessary, and I find it tactless, but not punishable with re-education. Be an idiot sometimes. You have the balls for many other subjects that I am happy you speak out about. Thank you for fighting the good fight. Never stop. They only hate you because your messages are important and have real value to people they'd otherwise try to indoctrinate. God bless you. Now, Dr. Peterson, I know you're a controversial figure, and there's a lot of people that will hate my guts for shedding any kind of positive light on you. But I recognize innocence when I see it. I recognize bullying when I see it. You, sir, are undeserving of the treatment you are receiving and deserving of the support of any decent Canadian and non-Canadian that understands what is happening to you is flat out wrong. Hang in there. We're standing with you. Godspeed. Sincerely, Brando.